See ya. Don't let the bed bugs bite should not be serious advice at the grocery store, but it is if you shop at One Valley Walmart and ABC 15 viewers sharing this video that's certainly been making our skin crawl. He says he was bitten repeatedly at the Walmart near 35th Avenue in Bethany Home. ABC 15's Jason Valentine live outside that store tonight taking action to find out what management is doing about all this. Jason. Well, let's start with the story. What happened? Jose de Leon says he was shopping in this Walmart. He was riding one of those little motorized scooter carts around. And we're going to show you the video. I want you to pay special attention to the seat. There's some little creases, kind of like this. Right up in the corner of that seat, you'll notice they're crawling. Just riding down Walmart for a little bit. My back started getting itchy. This was the motorized shopping scooter Jose de Leon was riding. This was the seat. And if you look close, it's crawling. I got off the chair, turned around, and the whole chair was infested with bed bugs. Our pest expert watched the video, and yep, definitely, definitely is bed bugs. He says someone who has bed bugs at home probably brought them to Walmart, and anyone who sat in these motorized scooters after the infestation could have accidentally taken some bugs back to their home to start a new colony. Well, that person goes home, sits on their couch, while well, the bed bug immediately tries to hide. That bed bug is going, is going to feed on them. And once they feed, then they can start laying eggs. In a statement, Walmart told us they've taken all the motorized shopping scooters out of service. Indeed, we saw seven moved out behind the store this afternoon, some now missing the vinyl seat cover. Walmart told us they're bringing in an expert to do testing. Meantime, if you're worried about bed bugs, all the clothing that you're wearing, put it in the dryer on high heat for about an hour and a half or so. And that's basically what Jose did. Oh, I got outside and I literally just stripped down all my clothes off. So obviously Walmart has groceries, food, they have a restaurant, a McDonald's inside here. So what does the health department have to say about all this? The health department have to say about this rather. Uh, we'll tell you that coming up at six, guys. We will be looking for that report at six. Jason, thanks.